So, I'm Florence, Nurse Flo. I've been a nurse for over 11 years. My background is in home health nursing. So, doing home health, um, we, I don't know, if you don't know about home health nursing, we go see our patients in their homes. So, I've been all over Columbus and the surrounding areas, been to the nice, nicest places, the rich homes been to the poor places you know the poor homes um we've seen all types of different um environments so just doing that makes you you know see people living in poor situations um a few weeks ago i had a patient i was supposed to go see he was about to get kicked out of his home he didn't know where he was gonna be it was just a very sad situation and the homeless population in not just in Columbus and Ohio, all over the country as, is increasing. So having a group home is a great opportunity to help out in the community because you're providing um, affordable housing for people that otherwise would not be able to afford it. And at the same time, you're you're you have an extra income for yourself so it's a very good and lucrative profitable business um to and then the other good thing about it is this people even if some people can't afford to pay the housing the rent themselves there is different government programs available that will pay or that will assist them in paying so You'll never have um, residents or tenants that's not able to pay, that's living in your home for free. That's the difference or the good part about having a group home versus just being a regular landlord and renting your home out. So you always have income, guaranteed income coming in. Um, let me see if I have any questions. No questions yet. Once again, if you have any questions, feel free to enter them in the question box um, below. You'll see a circle with a question mark on it. Just click on it and you can put your questions in there. So um, I do have a free guide in my bio, in the link in my bio as well, that goes over the 10 steps to starting a group home. Um, I can go over that briefly. So like I said, this is a business. So you want to make sure your first step is to have a business structure in place. So if you don't already have one, you need to um, create your business, figure out a business name, register your business with the state, get your EIN number with the um, federal government. And then um, after that, you want to open a bank account under your business um, name. So I did post a question earlier this week, um, asking if you needed, I think it was yesterday, if you needed to buy a house to have a group home or to use it as a group home. And the answer is no, you don't have to own your house or your home to use it as a group home. You can rent a home just like people do with Airbnb that they'll get a rental property and use it and rent it out you can do the same thing as a with a group home so now you do need to get the okay with the with your landlord that you're renting from you need to let them know that you're going to use it as a group home and once they're okay with it then you can go ahead and get started um so are there any questions does anybody have any questions for me Okay. All right. So once you have your house, um, there's some a few things that you need to do. You need to set up the house. You need to um, do an inspection. Um, and then you do need to apply for a license. The group home that we do that I'm um, talking about that I'm teaching people about is a licensed residential uh, facility and um it is licensed through the ohio department of mental health so 
you can have a group home that's not licensed, but we do the licensed one. And there are several different ones um, with the mental, the State Department of Mental Health. But we chose to do, so there's a class one, there's class two, and there's class three. We do a class two, um, which is for adults. We, ch we chose to do adults. You can do children if you want or uh, people younger than 18, but we chose to do adults. So we focus on adults with some of them do have mental um, a mental illness diagnosis, but they're still able to care for themselves. They can um, take a shower, get dressed for themselves. We do provide meals for them. So um, those are some of the things that we do for them. I think I have a question. Okay, I have a question that says, can you go through how to set up the house? Like how many people to a room? Okay, so um, we'll be going over that in the webinar, but we do have, you can have up to, depending on the size of the room, you can have up to two people in a room. Is there a minimum or maximum number of patients who have in a group home? No, there is not. Um, so depending on the number you want to have in the room, the rules are different. So for example, if you have up to six, you, have to, you need to have one bathroom for six people. And I believe if you have up to eight, then you need to have two bathrooms in the house. So the depending on the number you have, the rules are different. So, but those are all um, some of the things we'll go over in the webinar. Any other questions? Let's see, make sure I didn't miss any. So, um, like I said, depending on the size of the room, you can have two people for a class two residential assisted facility. Um, so, um, in the webinar, we'll go over in detail the steps on how to open your group home. We'll go over, um, some of the rules. We'll go over the things you need to do to get, um, to get approved, to get licensed. We'll go over, um, how to prepare your, your home. We'll go over how to get residence for your home. And, um, we'll, yeah, so we'll go over everything step by step. So, um, does anybody else have any questions for me tonight? How much will it cost to furnish a house? So we'll go over that as well, but just to, it depends on, on you and, <laughs> and where you get your things. So we'll go over that. I do have a checklist. Um, so depending on if you're paying rent or mortgage, um, where you're getting your furniture from, if you're getting your furniture is brand new, if you already have furniture, you know, laying around that you're not using, you can get furniture from Facebook marketplace, from yard sales. So it depends on you, what your budget is. Um, when we furnished our first group home, we got a lot of stuff from Facebook marketplace, even some stuff we got for free. So people, they listed it as like they were selling it. And then we got to, I remember one person we were telling that, oh, you know, we have a group home. We're setting up our group, group home. So instead of selling it to us, he was like, just take it. <laughs> and then he said, he gave us two couches actually. So the one he listed and then he's like, oh, my neighbor down the street, they're moving to, he went and talked to them and they gave, they gave it to us for free. So I have another question. Um, getting the license, is it super expensive? No, it's not. So the major bulk of your expense is going to come from furnishing the house and your, um, your rent or your mortgage. I got a call there. Can you guys hear me? Can you hear me? I had a call come through. Okay. Can somebody put in the car? Okay, thank you. <laughs> so um, it's not it's not expensive at all. Um, like I said, the bulk of your 
expense is going to come from what thank you is going to come from either your rent or your mortgage and um furnishing the house and like i said before furnishing the house is i mean think about when you when you move into your house so you need you need a couch you need a, a dining table with chairs you need beds for the residents um we usually do twin size bed so you need your bed frame your box springs the mattress and then you need what else you need your kitchen supplies like your um if you're if it's a brand new house or i mean it's a if it's a house that you're not renting that you own and then you 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 need to put your appliances in if it's a rental then you should already have the appliances in you just need your like your pots your pans your plates cups and stuff like that um and then what else you need your bed sheets for the for the rooms um curtains blinds um a tv let's see you also you do need a phone as well a landline phone so um so i can provide you with a checklist are the residents allowed to cook themselves or do you have to provide their hot meals so you you do provide meals for them. We provide, yeah, so you do your, you do provide meals for them. So, and they're supposed to be healthy meals too. So not like junk food. So breakfast, lunch, dinner, and depending on the time that you schedule the breakfast, lunch, and dinner, um, provide snacks as well. And they are to have access to a fridge in the house. So... Are there any other questions? Okay, any other questions? So like I said, we'll be going over this in more detail um, in the webinar. The webinar is going to be on July 7th at 7 p.m. And it's $79. The link to register is in my bio. So make sure you click, click the link in my bio to register. If you're having any difficulties finding it or have any questions, make sure you send me a DM. Um, are there any other questions I can answer tonight? You are welcome. So if there are no more questions, like I said, also in, in the link in my bio, there is a, a free guide with 10 steps to get you started. So like I said, this is a business. So if this is something you want to do, make sure you have your business set up. Make sure you have um, a business. You pick a business, your business name. Make sure you register with the state. Um, I keep getting calls. Make sure you register with the states. Discounts for multiple attendees of the webinar. Can you explain what you mean, please? <laughs> so yeah, so you want to register your business, get your EIN, um, get a business banking account. So. Uh, Mr. Kunle, what do you mean by discounts for multiple attendees of the webinar? So the webinar is Friday, sorry, July 7th at 7 p.m. We'll be going over all this in more detail. Um, I do have also have a course coming up. Are there discounts? <laughs> Are there discounts for multiple attendees from the same household? Are you going to be doing the same are you going to be under the same business or two different businesses? If you're not doing it together, then you, the two of you can register separately. <laughs> so, okay. Any other questions I can answer? Um... So, like I said, we'll be going over this in detail at the webinar. This is something that um, we enjoy doing. I do it with my husband. So, currently, we both, we manage um, our houses together. And um, I still, this is, it can bring you four figures monthly or more, depending on how many houses you have. So, you're, yeah, it's, it's, it's very lucrative and it's really not too hard not too expensive to set up and you'll see your return any other questions 
So don't forget July 7th at 7 p.m. Make sure you register for the webinar and it's $79. So if I don't have any more questions, I'm going to stop this. So make sure you click the link in my bio and register for the webinar. If you have any other questions, feel free to shoot me a DM and I will talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye.